everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to show you how to play Love Hurts by Nazareth. Uh, really cool song. Um, another one of these songs that I always liked and just never got around to learning how to play it until uh, just recently. It's really surprised me that in all the years that I've been teaching, I've never had anybody request this song. Uh, or at least if it did, I mean, it's possible that it happened a long time ago and I just don't remember, but I, I cannot recall. Anyway, it's a cool song. Uh, it is a little bit kind of challenging if you're a beginner because it has a lot of bar chords and stuff in it. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you an alternative way that you can kind of do it if, you know, bar chords are, you know, you haven't conquered those yet. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look. All right, so we start off, we've got this intro and it is based off of G major bar chord. So uh, I got my first finger barred all the way across all six strings of the third fret. My second finger is on the uh, fourth fret of the G string. My third finger is on the fifth fret of the A string. And my fourth finger is on the fifth fret of the D string. So this is all arpeggiated. So we've got E, A, D, D, E, B, D. So it's kind of weird that it's not just... One of the trickiest parts of it actually in my opinion. So that's the first measure. So it's like one and two and three and four. The second measure is the same. One and two and three and four. Then we're going to go to just a regular F chord. So first finger is barring the first and second fret of the, uh, the B and E string. Second finger is on the second fret of the G string. Third finger is on the third fret of the D string. And it's a half note, so it's like one, two, and then we switch to regular old C chord for three, four, and then it repeats. F, C, and then we're gonna come up here to the fifth fret of the D string and just fret that note is a whole note. And that's the love hurts, and then it goes into the song from there. All right, so that leads us into the verse. So the verse is, is similar to the intro um, as far as the, uh, the picking for it and stuff. So we start off with that same G, same thing. Then to an E minor. So now it's E, A, D, D, Now to a C chord, and it is a C bar chord. So uh, typically when I play a bar chord with the root note on the fifth string, I do it like this, but we need to make sure we can get that third fret there. So I'm going to be doing it the old school way here. So I'm barring my first finger across the first five strings at the third fret. Then my second finger is on the fifth fret of the D string. My third finger is on the fifth fret of the G string. And my fourth finger is on the fifth fret of the B string. And now we've got A, D, G, G, E, B, G. And then we've got D major. So we can just move this shape up a whole step. And we've got A, D, B, G. And then move it down back to where it was, back to C. A, D, G, G. All right, so those are the four measures that make up the verse, and it's just it's just repeated and played twice. And then that leads us into the chorus. All right, so the chorus starts off, we've got that same G chord, and we're going to go E, A, B, G, and then we have to quickly switch to B minor. So for B minor, we're going to bar our first finger across the first five strings at the second fret, our second finger is going onto the third fret of the B string. Third finger is going onto the fourth fret of the D string. And fourth finger is going onto the fourth fret of the G string. And that's going to be uh, A, D, G, B. So that's, that's one measure. So we've got... To E minor... 
and then back to the B minor again. Uh, so it's kind of tricky. So it's really like that E, that second E minor there is only kind of a, you know, you're only on it for a second for the transition. So that second measure. So the first two measures. Then to that C major again. A, D, G, G, E, B, uh, G. And then up to the D again. So it's kind of that same like we did before. So it's a little bit different. So we, we move that. C shape up for D, and we're going to go E, D, B, G, move it back down to C, A, D, G, D. So. All right, so that's like the first four measures. So for the second half, and this is starting on measure 17, we're back to the G again. And then that F, C, just like on the intro. And then the whole thing just repeats. So the, the verse, or excuse me, the chorus is eight measures long. Uh, and then you just play through the whole sequence twice. So for the bridge section, we start off with E minor. So it's E, A, D, D, E, B, D. And then starting on the second measure, you'll see on there we're showing it switching back and forth, B minor to E minor to B minor, like these changes are like really quick. So if you just put your fingers on for the B minor, the only two notes that it's using for the E minor is the open low E in the second fret of the A string, which you're already picking up with the B minor. So you're going to have A, D, G, D, E, A, D, or G, D. total of three times there at the end. So the last four measures of the bridge. And then the, actually that's the first four measures of the bridge. And then for the last four, we have an A. So A, D, G, G, B, G, D, B. So that's the first measure. One and two and three and four. And then on the next measure, one, two, or one and. So B, D, G. And then the open. B string because it actually goes to an uh, A suspended too, but you don't need to like switch back like because you just roll your first finger up so you can get this the B string open. And then you have to do a hammer on. So the second measure B D G open B open B hammer to the second fret B D and then uh E, or excuse me, A, D, G, G, E, B, B, G, D, and then that same that we did before. So the D, A, D, B, G, move it down to C, uh, A, D, G, D. And those are basically all the parts to the song. So, you know, you've got the intro, you've got the verse, you've got the chorus, you've got the bridge. And then if you just listen to the song, you can tell which parts are which. Because it, like, you know, goes, like, verse to the chorus. And I think it does another verse again. And then the chorus. And then it does the bridge. 
and then another chorus, I think, but it's, it's really easy to figure it out. So an alternative way that you could kind of do this that's not going to be exact, but it'd be enough that you could kind of get through it and stuff, especially if, you know, if the bar chord thing is new to you, is that you could just use the uh, regular open position chord. So I could just take the regular old G chord. sounds it sounds good I mean like I said it there's just gonna be a couple little differences in there um, but honestly if I got the call today to go play this song live tonight I would probably play it that way just because it is easier and um, wouldn't require nearly as much rehearsal to do it with the bar chords all right so there you have it. that's all the parts uh, for love hurts by Nazareth um, if you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions uh, about this or any other guitar related topics. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Anyway, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.